Good evening. The state television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Interview with political scientist Saro Saroyan. Despite the resolution passed by the Senate, the French government is against the recognition of Nagorno-Karabakh's independence. Gas electricity supply restored in Stepanakert by 95%. Pashinyan discusses issues related to settlement of Lachin Corridor with Putin during phone call. Aestan Armenian Fund Telethon raises more than $22 million. Armona Theatre Festival to support Artsakh children with Armona Fairy Tale Project. The entrance to the cave destroyed by the treasure hunters closed with iron gates. On Western Armenia TV, political scientist Saro Saronyan analyzed the issues on the agenda for Armenia, the resolution on the recognition of Artsakh by the French Senate and the borderline issues on the Armenian-Azerbaijani border, pointing to the case of the salt mine. He referred to the current state of Wilson's arbitral award as a link to Erdogan and presented his political analysis in foreign and domestic political and diplomatic fields. You can watch the whole interview on our official YouTube channel. After the French Senate passed the draft resolution on the need for Nagorno-Karabakh recognition, the French Foreign Minister stated that the recognition is not in the interest of either France or other countries. The French Foreign Ministry stated France's unilateral recognition of Nagorno-Karabakh is not in anyone's interest. The settlement of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict is possible only through negotiations between the conflicting parties. Today, Armenia and Azerbaijan need the support of the Minsk group more than ever. At the sitting of the Foreign Affairs Committee of the French Parliament, Foreign Minister Jean-Yves Le Drian called on the withdrawal of terrorists transferred from Turkey to the Nagorno-Karabakh. Let us remind that on November 25, the French Senate adopted a resolution calling on the country's government to recognize the independence of Nagorno-Karabakh. According to the official website of the Russian Defense Ministry, the issue of electricity and gas supply of the social facilities in Stepanakert have been resolved. The process of restoring a peaceful life continues in the Nagorno-Karabakh capital Stepanakert with the support of Russian peacekeepers. As of today, the city's electricity and gas supply has been restored by 95%. The work of the city's electric substations has also resumed, the ministry reported. According to the military, Russian peacekeepers are now assisting locals in restoring social infrastructure and growth. Prime Minister of Armenia Nikol Pashinyan had two telephone conversations with President of Russia Vladimir Putin on November 27. The topics for the discussion included issues relating to the settlement of the Lachin Corridor, missing citizens, search operations, exchange of the bodies, captives of the war, the deployment and delimitation of peacekeepers, as well as the unblocking of the transport communication in the region. Such discussions are taking place on a regular basis, sometimes several times a day. We do not always spread information on these discussions given their working nature nature and frequency, the Prime Minister said on Facebook. The 23rd annual Thanksgiving Teleton of Ayastanol Armenian Fund took place in Los Angeles with the slogan of unity, strength and faith, the fund informed. Out of respect for the solemn mood of our nation and the lives lost in the defense of our homeland, the telethon took place over four hours instead of the previous 12. The Armenians of the U.S. in their unity and commitment to the people of Artsakh raised more than $22 million. In light of recent developments in Artsakh and Armenia, all proceeds of Teleton 2020 will be directed to supporting 100,000 displaced individuals and the families of our fallen soldiers who lost their lives to protect the sovereignty of both republics, said the head of Armenian Fund in USA, Maria Mehranyan. Armona International Theatrical Festival will implement Armona Fairy Tale Charity Project for Children coming to Armenia from Artsakh from November 27. As reported by Armen Press, the goal of the project is not to provide entertainment for children but also to try to get them out of stress through stories and conversations. Artist Victoria Riedo Hovanisian will conduct the interactive game of the project. The first meeting will take place on the Loft Self Development Center. The entrance to Palanli Cave, presumably from the Stone Age in the Adiyaman Samosad province of Western Armenia, which was destroyed by treasure hunters, is now closed with iron gates for security reasons. The walls of the cave near the village of Palanli are engraved with various animal and human images, which have been painted and damaged over time. After this situation, the iron gates of the two entrances to the historic cave were renovated by the State Department of Culture and Tourism. According to the report, the petrol was increased in the area to prevent the destruction of the cave by illegal, unauthorized treasure hunters. Now let us represent your attention a song by Vahram Tadevosyan. <laughs> Thank 
You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.